I'm really proud of our players, my players and, and my kids. They're my kids. I always say that. Sometimes I get an email saying they're not kids. They're, they're young ladies, but they're my kids, and I'm really proud of them. thought they uh, played extremely hard. thought we came out and punched first, unlike the other night, and I uh, thought we kept punching in the first half. Ole Miss is really talented. They're, they're very – Quick, athletic, and uh, they can cause you a lot of problems. I'm not sure how the score got the way it was. I, I think they're they're young, and, and uh, again, they're really a challenge to defend. And uh, they play so very hard. You got to give those kids a lot of credit. They play extremely hard. Uh, Matt and his staff are, are doing a great job with them, and uh, so we knew, you know, going in, it was going to be a a game where we were going to have to match their intensity. We were coming off a game where we maybe didn't match somebody's intensity. And so, I, you know, I, I was anxious to see how we respond tonight. And uh, obviously we responded in a very big way. Second quarter and the fourth quarter were big quarters for us. Um, and um, I really, really was pleased with our defense. I thought we challenged shots. I thought we altered shots, um, you know, you look at Dom's stat line and you go, well, she was two for 11 and five rebounds and one assist and one steal, but she had no turnovers, 37 minutes, and she guarded their best player, and she went six for 19 and one for five from the field So and only had three rebounds. So obviously played a, a big role for us, and uh, I don't think there's any doubt our point guard play tonight was outstanding, uh, starting with Morgan getting to the line. I told her she needed to get to the line how many times? <laughs> 11 to 12. Yeah, we fell a little shy of that goal when we got there 10. But uh, really proud of her and handling the ball. Um, I thought she really was a, did a great job. I, I didn't quite realize she had five turnovers. We had a little stretch there in the second half where we had a little trouble against their half-court trap. But um, overall, I, I was pleased with the, uh, us, the way we attacked. Um, once we got off our heels there in the third quarter and got back on our toes, I thought we were really good. I thought Chenway – Altered shots. Obviously, she finished well. 14 points, seven rebounds, five offensive, four for five at the free throw line. This is a kid that works on her free throws every day. Shoots, makes 50 every day. Um, she's very, very religious in logging, and uh, so I'm proud, proud of her and uh, what she brought to the table. And then Tiara, our other five player, she goes five for six with four rebounds and 10 points. So there's my two-headed monster. They had uh, 24 points and and. Uh, 11 rebounds, and uh, that's a pretty good night, five for six and five for six at that position. So really proud of our effort. I like getting to the line 24 times, and uh, that shows, again, how aggressive we were, I thought. It's nice to have Brianna Richardson back. You know, we missed her. We managed to get through that little stretch um, without her and okay, but it's good to have her back. And she brings a lot of athleticism and some toughness and some rebounding to the table. And uh, I thought she did a great job tonight, seven rebounds in 17 minutes. I think you guys kind of dominated in the paint scoring and with the rebounding advantage. Do you think that's kind of your, I don't know, your team's kind of trump card that you can, that size for 40 minutes is just really difficult to deal with? Well, I, I hope it is. You know, it, it, it has been most nights, but it seems like the nights we've struggled, it hadn't been. And so, um, I think, you know, we, when 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 Wei and T go go in there and they're going up against six five six six, they're kind of used to going against each other in that regard. But at the same time, uh, it's not something that's common every night. So they're they're still learning. Like I told you, it's their sophomore. You know, she's really a sophomore. She's not a junior. She's really a sophomore, and um, you know, Big T's just a freshman. And so those kids, I thought, were special tonight. I thought again. Uh, Jasmine Holmes was really special feeding T. You know, she found her, had six assists in 14 minutes. That's a pretty good stat line. Mm -hmm. So, again, I thought my freshman point guard grew up tonight. It's good to see. No question. I mean, 7,100 is uh, um, absolutely, you know, really unique and special in women's basketball. And uh, to have 7,100 here tonight, I thought our students showed up a little bit which is really uncommon in a women's game. It's hard to get students out, and we had a pretty good crowd of students tonight. But the atmosphere was electric. And, you know, these kids want to play in front of, front of fans, but I think they've earned that. People ask me all the time, well, 
how have how have you done that? I, I think the girls have done it. I think it's their style of play. It's how hard they play. It's her being the fastest kid they've ever seen play basketball and her toughness and, and how physical she is and how hard she plays the game. And, you know, it's just those things that add up to people wanting to come support our, our team. So it was it was really big. And you know what? I need them back Sunday. So y'all can print that. <laughs> I need I need 10,000 of them Sunday for South Carolina. So. I'd say he's dead on right, you know. And uh, I think what we found tonight, though, is that the the uh, we got another engine, um, and when she's got some confidence like she had tonight, it really it really adds something to the table for us. And uh, but I don't think there's any question. Morgan is is someone that we rely on heavily. Her energy and th you know the way she plays, how hard she plays, she's physical too for her size. You know, she's going to the line ten times, and I uh, thought she set the tone tonight. She got the first two or three baskets on layups, driving layups, and she set the tone for how aggressive we were going to be getting to the rim. So, um, I'd say that's a pretty good, pretty good read. Nick, what does it mean to now own the largest margin of victory from this uh, long series? You know, I. I hate to say, I mean, I, I, I don't mind. That really doesn't mean anything to me. Um, um, winning the game is what's important. Um, I didn't have any idea that that's where this series had been. And, again, I'm just trying to win by one every night, you know. And uh, But I'm proud of my kids. I thought we played hard and and uh, and uh, against a team that we knew coming in was going to play extremely hard. So. say yes I, I kind of felt that way you know just because we've worked really hard prepared a lot <laughs> for this game tonight and so I think I went in playing with confidence you know confidence in my teammates just not in myself and just sucking that energy from the guards you know because I just cannot do it by myself so I had to I had to take energy from them too I know that Missouri loss was, was tough on y'all did you Kind of respond the way that you hoped you guys would respond tonight? I think we all did pretty much. We all did, even in practice, like just preparing after that loss. We all did down the road, so it got us ready. We got ready for that. The coaches, they all got us ready, so we responded good, I think. Jay, I know that Vic was saying um, against Missouri, you didn't attempt any shots. I mean, how much fire was there to, to come out strong and, and not have that performance again, come out and kind of assert your authority early on? Um, honestly, coming tonight to play this game, I wasn't looking to score. More for me was more to defend the home court. Just going into the game, it was more defending the home court, rebounding, and just looking for my teammates, like looking for them, seeing open spaces, if they could find me and just get the ball in. I think we did that a lot tonight. Vic and Morgan, just kind of talk about what Jazz was able to do. She had two <coughs> steals of inbounds that yeah. really gave you a lot of momentum, especially that first one. What what'd y'all see from them? Start from Morgan. Uh, first, I'm proud of Jazz. She came out there, was ready to play. I was like, just go out here and play, <coughs> have fun, have confidence in yourself. Cause I see her do it every day in practice. I, I know she's capable of, and she went out there and did it, and I was proud of her. I, I just you could see a a kid evolving and developing right in front, and the confidence. You know, when she got those steals, you could just see it her whole demeanor just kind of changed and the confidence that she had and, uh, you know, playing to the crowd, you know, you, you, you like that. You like, you like kids to do that. And, and it really, obviously, and it, it, our crowd got behind her on that, got behind our team and really gave us some, some energy and juice. So, uh, like I said, I, that's when I see her growing up, when I see that confidence and not that blank stare that I've seen sometimes that concerns me. I see that confident kid and again, Morgan, it's a long, hard grind this season. Morgan can't do it all by herself. 
and and we need Jazz desperately. And I I tell you what, it really does. It gives her teammates confidence now. You know, they're going to come out of this game going, hey, we're fine. Morgan's over there getting some rest. We're good. Let's go, Jazz. Let's go. And it'll give them confidence. And I I, I think that's imperative for for this team going forward. How about, how about Kayla Nevitt tonight? I mean, you talk about big force, three out of six, two for four from three. Um, just really played well. Um, her, her in the first half, Katera went four for four in the first half. Those kids were really big for us uh, in the first half when, when we were kind of, um, I wouldn't say we were struggling, we were executing fine. And those kids stepped up and made shots. So uh, really, really uh, proud of her and excited for what, what she was able to do again. Just gives another sophomore some confidence, you know, going forward. And uh, um, I'm, I'm really proud of Kayla for absolutely. Don, can you talk about how Morgan is, is do you, how much do you think that she is that, that kind of engine that, that fuels your guys' strength? Uh, I think just, I think she gives us confidence on the offensive end. I don't know. Just, and then defense too, she takes charges. I, she's definitely the leader on the charge board right now. But I think just when she's going, nobody can stop her. And I, when she's going, I don't think anybody can stop us. So just, I think she means that much to us. She seems to play with, sometimes with that attitude that she talked early last season that you know, who, who can stop her? Mm -hmm. She doesn't feel that anybody can't stop her. When she plays with a little bit of that edge to her, there's really a difference. How, how much do you think that there is a difference like when she plays like she played tonight and she's in that attacking mindset? Like I um, I just like I said, when she plays like that, I don't think anybody can stop us, and it just makes us that much better. And yeah, just nobody can stop her. Well, he scored the first basket. Just talk about Coach Sick to the first punch. You know, Miss, even though they made some runs at you during the game, mm -hmm. it seemed like they kind of stunned right at the start. Mm -hmm. With the start you had. Uh, first, I know Coach told him about the free throws, so I figured I can only get to nine by tech, so I just kept attacking. And she kept giving me the lane, so I tacked again and got another basket. So once I've been aggressive, I get to the free throw line. So once I be aggressive, people draw uh, attention to me. I get my teammates some open shots, open looks. Vic, with Victoria and then even my player like Dom, why is it that Morgan is that, that leader, that engine that runs everything? Well, she's not just – you know, she's not just a floor general. She's a scoring point guard. And we've ta I've talked to her about that, too, you know, back when uh, she kind of wasn't getting getting it done point-wise. And uh, I need her to score for us. You know, she had 21 at Florida. That was big for us. We don't win that game. She doesn't. Now, Tori had a good night, too. But I need her to be not only the floor general but a scorer. I mean, she's got a lot of responsibility, typically. Her and Dom are guarding the other two best guards on the other team. So, you know, the kid gets a lot of wear and tear, and she's obviously playing with a little bit of a bum leg. But uh, it is very important. That's the role she has. She's got to do that for us. And, you know, we score 79 points tonight, and Tori gets eight. I think that's a good sign for our team, you know. And um, so, uh, again, proud of the kids that stepped up tonight and, and, uh, and, and, and made some shots for us, especially that first half. I think she grabbed a, a cramp or something and needed to come out and rub it out with a with with a tool. So she uh, she uh, came out and they got one of those things over there. They rub up and down their leg and she had to get a get a knot out. Is what she told me. I said, "Well, hurry up because that <laughs> knot's wearing me out." <laughs> so she uh, she got it out, but you know, Jazz came in and did a really nice job for us. She's the knot doctor. <laughs> yeah. Where, where was the knot? On my leg, my right leg, it's up top. It's up there. The, the cast that you have on your right shin, is that, what, what is that? It looked like it was like a, a piece of. Uh, this is pad, just protecting my leg. But you're going to play ball, right? <laughs> No, she's not an outside spiker. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, thanks, ladies. Thanks All right, praise the Lord and go dogs. Yeah. yeah.